Hey there. So this is the third of eight posts about do we really know what autism is? And this one is about lack of empathy. Now this is the, the when you see a newspaper article or a magazine article about autism, this used to be one of the lead ones that would show up. It's showing up less often now, but hi Nikki. <laughs> um, Essentially, what we've got is a situation where we still have institutionalized abuse of autistics in schools and in uh, assisted living situations. <laughs> and, and really, uh, it's all kind of this, the straitjacketing, the drugging, um, often the, the, the uh, um, uh, isolation, all of the things that are happening. These are things that are happening. Uh, happening because there's been this misinformation about because our faces don't always show emotions that we're not feeling emotions and it's just hi Jade <laughs> it's just not true so so really what's been going on is this misinformation over time that's been prompting people to say oh it's fine you know you don't have to worry about autistic feelings because they don't have any and it's it's uh, I, I, I really want you to know that there's increasing evidence in the research showing that not only do people in the autistic spectrum that's Tourette's that's ADHD that's dyslexia and all of the dis all of the related dis, uh, um, uh, diagnoses, that's uh, PDD-NOS, that's um, uh, Asperger's, that's all, all kinds of things that can fall into that. And then there are a whole bunch of misdiagnoses that women get because uh, we're not, we're not, well, I'll, I'll address the women thing next one. But anyway, um, empathy can be as as on high volume as all of the other senses, sight, sound, smell, uh, touch, taste, all of these can be on very high alert in those of us in the autistic spectrum. And empathy, believe it or not, is another sense. It's us sensing what's going on around us emotionally. And it can also be on high volume. And this can be one of the reasons that we uh, will shut down emotionally in social settings because there's just so much going on emotionally. We, we can't grok all of it. We can't cope with all of it. We can't manage it. So um, there's also, uh, you know, in terms of that numbness that takes over, it's worthwhile knowing where that's coming from. Because when you look at PTSD, people who, who have really extreme PTSD, they, it, there's a shutting down and a numbing of emotional uh, judgment that happens because they are so traumatized themselves that they can't do it. Well, PTSD and, and stress, the stress trauma continuum is one of the root causes of autistic challenges. Now, toxins can also cause emotional shutdown. This is something that um, Dr. Mark Hyman has done a, a lot of work on, looking at the mental emotional costs of exposure to things that cause reduced function in systems in the body, including in the brain. Now, uh, leaky gut is another thing that can really dramatically harm emotional uh, responsivity, emotional response, or, or, or uh, react <laughs> expression and response. <laughs> and so uh, when you're looking at um, someone who's got leaky gut, well, 65% of people who have leaky gut have no obvious digestive symptoms. So it's a big deal. And then, and then immune. It, people who have chronic infections often have that systemic crash as well so that they're, they're not able to access and express emotions to the same degree. It doesn't mean they're not taking them in. <laughs> they're there. It's just that that engagement isn't happening. So this, uh, my call to action for this particular Facebook Live is, you know, if you've got any questions that are unanswered about the chronic health issues that are, are causing autistics to appear so differently from the rest of the population, leave me a, a comment in, in the chat below and we'll do some private messaging. We'll just talk about what's going on for you and maybe set up a chat. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. I've got a whole, I've got a bunch of weeks worth of information to pass on about misinformation about autism. So I will look forward to catching up with you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I got a like. Thank you. <laughs>